We return to the shakeup at the top of the Trump administration with the firing of Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and the appointment of the current director of the CIA, Mike Pompeo, to replace him as America's top diplomat. We get three views now. Nicholas Byrne served 27 years in government, much of it at the Department of State. He was U.S. Ambassador to NATO and to Greece. He's now at Harvard University. David Ignatius is a foreign policy columnist at the Washington Post, and David Shedd served as acting director of the Defense Intelligence Agency during a 33-year government career. He's now a distinguished fellow at the Heritage Foundation, a Washington think tank. And gentlemen, we welcome all three of you here today. David Ignatius, I'm going to start with you. Uh, your reporting, what does it tell you about why the president made this decision? I think President Trump has been uncomfortable uh, with uh, Secretary Tillerson uh, for a, a year, really, since soon after he took took the job last November. Trump wanted to make a change, uh, asked Mike Pompeo if he was ready to go to state. Uh, Pompeo said yes. The president held off, I think was counseled uh, by uh, Chief of Staff uh, Kelly and others to, 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 to wait on that move. He did, but his discomfort continued. Um, watching the public humiliation of Rex Tillerson has been painful, I think, for, for the whole country. It was visible today in that pained uh, resignation uh, statement that, that Tillerson made. Uh, I, I think Trump finally decided that the time would come to make a change. He headed into the most important uh, diplomatic encounter of his presidency, probably, the face-to-face -face diplomacy with Kim Jong-un uh, in North Korea. He felt he wanted to have his own person uh, at state, his own uh, team uh, behind him. Uh, and so I think the, the moment had, had come. But the discomfort's been there for many, many months. Nicholas Burns, how would you describe the State Department uh, under Rex Tillerson? Demoralized. Uh, the, I think the greatest crisis we've had in 40 or 50 years with 30 percent budget cuts by the Trump administration and Secretary Tillerson, the firing of some of our best senior officers early in the administration, an exodus of very good officers at all levels, really, because no senior diplomats were appointed to senior positions around President Trump in the White House, the majority of our ambassadorships unfilled, no ambassador to Seoul in the middle of this crisis, no assistant secretary of state for East Asia. So diplomatic mal malpractice by Secretary Tillerson, I think that's part of his legacy, that he mismanaged the, the State Department, our civil and career foreign service. And this is the great, important arm of our diplomacy, and yet these people feel uh, that they've been excluded. Uh, I would say, I think, that with Secretary-designate Pompeo has an opportunity to rebuild the department if he can convince President Trump and the OMB director to put the money forward has an opportunity to win back people, but that's a tall order at this stage. David Shedd, as somebody who's watched American foreign policy for a long time, how do you see, how do you see the record of Rex Tillerson as, as secretary? I think that it's spotty uh, because of all the reasons that have already been described in terms of his inability to really influence the president. And I have seen in, the, in, in Director Pompeo uh, a disproportionate amount of influence than coming from the CIA at a very time where diplomacy should actually be what we would be focusing on. What do you mean? I mean, the, the director and the president, I think, have hit it off from the first day, and that relationship has actually grown deeper. He gives the president's daily brief, and I think the issues that are in alignment with the president's thinking about Iran, about North Korea, about counterterrorism, are really shaped by the CIA far more than uh, Secretary Tillerson. David Ignatius, there were Democrats out today saying damage has been done to America's role in the world, uh, to how America is seen by other countries uh, under the Tiller Trump Tillerson uh, 14 months. Do you agree? I think there's no question that uh, Trump has succeeded in his often self proclaimed goal of. Uh, disrupting, destabilizing the, the world and, and traditional uh, relationships, assumptions about American policy. He's wanted to shake things up, and he, and he has. I just was in Europe uh, last weekend listening to foreign policy discussion, uh, and it's, it's fair to say that uh, our, our allies are concerned. They see America heading in different directions. The, they, they, they 
uh, want the United States to be a strong leader uh, of the system that the U.S. created after World War II, and, and, and they're, they're concerned that Trump is walking away from that. So yes, I think, I think there has been damage. I think it, it is important that uh, any president, uh, President Trump included, have a Secretary of State who can speak confidently for the president, who, who, who everybody around the world knows uh, s speaks on behalf of the president with his, with his voice in effect. Rex Tillerson couldn't do that. That was part of his problem. Uh, in that sense, it's better to have a, a, a secretary who can have a, a consistent, straightforward uh, expression of policy, especially as we head into these very delicate negotiations uh, with North Korea. And Nick Burns, you were saying a moment ago there's an opportunity for change with Mike Pompeo coming in. How so? What kind of change should we look for? Well, first, in what, in what David Ignatius just said, I think all of our recent secretaries of state would say that they were successful when they had the support of the president. They have to have the support of the president or else you don't have credibility overseas. So if Mike Pompeo is seen as someone in whom President Trump has great confidence, and if President Trump can be consistent in exhibiting that conference, confidence and not undercutting Pompeo the way he clearly undercut Secretary Tillerson, then I think Secretary Pompeo, Secretary Designate Pompeo, has a chance to be an influential Secretary of State, and he'll be more effective around the world if people think he's speaking for President Trump. Two issues, Judy, to watch out for. North Korea is by far the most important issue right now. Secretary Designate Pompeo, I hope there'll be speedy confirmation hearings. We need him out there. I hope to go to Pyongyang before the summit meeting to see if the North Koreans are really serious. I support what President Trump's trying to do through diplomacy, turning to it, but you have to have it well prepared. And Pompeo's been a noted critic of the Iran nuclear deal. That could spell bad news for those of us who believe that we should continue with the Iran nuclear deal. That will exacerbate our problems with Europe and the rest of the world. So David Schiff,